Hello, 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 and to all of you, beings of unknown kind, monsters, dragons, witches, and fiends from hell below, happy Halloween! <laughs> anyway, this video is a part two of my Halloween special. Hope you guys enjoy it. I worked really hard on it and I really, really, really tried my best. So if you guys do like the content, you know what to do. You want to see yourself in a shout out, you know what to do. You just have to comment. Nothing more. Anyways, a little bit of a heads up. Hmm. To all the people that do not like blood, bone spilling, gut spilling, breaking bones, br um, and well, any other bodily fluids spilling out of your guts, um, do not watch this video. I do not recommend it. Uh, this is a warning, so if anybody still wants to stay around, it is up to your choice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cuss. And that is where today's video is gonna start. I hope you guys are ready. I tried my best. I tried my hardest. And if you think that um, I did a good job, you guys know what to do. Anyways, this is Dolphin Lover Miller ASMR, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. And once again, happy Halloween! <laughs> You are crawling through a burnt down, broken city filled with dead walkers. There is a few people panicking in the background, still running away from the dead walkers and trying not to get caught in their grasp. Unluckily for them, they aren't faster than the dead walkers themselves and most of the people get caught and eaten right in front of your face. You're looking around, desperately trying to find a way out of this horrid place that is called your broken home. You, you grew up in this village. It gives you memories and it really saddens you to see that a simple virus has made your village into walking monsters without a brain that only crave each other's eat. Amongst thy monsters, there is a group that looks slightly familiar. Is that? Could it be? No. They got infected as well. It saddens you to see that your classmates from UA also got infected. Unluckily for you, you trip on a piece of wood that has been laying there from some of the broken buildings. As the zombies hear a quick, you fall to the ground and realize you have just alerted the beasts about your whereabouts. Um, you desperately try to crawl away, since whilst you were falling, you hurt your leg. Unluckily for the dead walkers, the ones that are most interesting are the ones that were your classmates, because they're stopping the dead walkers from getting close to you. One of the dead walkers crawls to you since his legs got blown off by a explosion. It looks at you, almost like it could understand what you were going through. It gives you a hand and tries to guide you to a place that is safe. 
You being afraid of the beast, you squirm back and bump into more, more objects, making more noise and letting more of the dead walkers know that you are there. Suddenly, the dead walker that was trying to help you crawls towards you, and to your own surprise, it speaks. Shut up! You're gonna get us killed! You try to put the voice to a face that doesn't even look like the face of your dear old friend and absolute crazy nugget, Denki. Yes, it's me. What did you expect? I am not that ugly, am I? You shake your head, trying to comfort your friend. Friend. Zombie. Zombie friend? You are confused. As the other zombies heroically get rid of the other other zombies, they also come and join you and Denki in a sort of weird quiet and silence. One of the biggest zombies comes to you and gives you gives out his half broken hand with bones sticking out of it. He does not speak, but from his deep growl you can easily suggest that it is the one, the only, the most maddest and most temperamental person you have ever met. <sighs> Says the monster again, looking straight into your eyes as if it could read your emotions. The beast right next to him, still having enough red on him to cover his whole face and body, speaks up. Don't be so stupid, bro. You're acting really dumb towards our friend. You stand there shocked as you realize the person that speaks is Kiri. You look at him and Kiri looks back at you. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to scare you. You blink a few times, surprisingly shocked and still trying to process what the hell is happening. As you look around the other zombies that have also come around you and created a sort of protective circle, kicking any and all other zombies' asses if they get even close to you. A small little zombie comes crawling to you, uh, he has one leg, and that one leg is filled with bullet wounds and gashes. There's even twigs sticking out of his arms and chest from all the people trying to get rid of him and murder him in the process for them to survive. The zombie looks at you, straight into your eyes, almost feeling like he could read your soul. And he speaks. I, I, I am sorry I, I look like this, I really didn't mean to look like this. The zombie saddens and hangs his head low, as if ashamed of itself. You look at it and question your own choices, if you should run or if you should listen to the zombies and stay where you are so you are quote unquote safe the zombies all look at you and then they look at each other murmur something in a language you haven't heard or understood yet and then they ba look back at you you're still shivering and afraid you don't know what to think, and you think that your head is playing tricks on you and making the zombie sainty, sentient because of your loneliness and your loss of your friends. The zombies look at each other again, and then another zombie steps up. He looks at you deep into your eyes 
trying to figure out if you are dangerous or not. Luckily for you, this zombie has had his voice saved. Nobody has hit him in his neck yet, so his voice is completely untouched. Guys, I think, I think we have to save them and get them out of here. Says the zombie that looks very, very, very much like your best friend. Huh? What do you mean? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, listener. I'm sorry that I present myself in front of you in this state. <sighs> Says the big zombie, mad that he gets the chance to talk to you, but he doesn't have the ability to. Keep them at bay! Says the zombie that looks like Hiroshima. The zombies desperately try to attack you, but your, your zombie friends, they don't allow it. As the zombies around you clear, your zombie friends, so-called friends, UA students, um, back up a little so they give you space for you to handle everything that has just been thrown into your face. You blink a few times, looking at each of the zombies, trying to make sure that it is real. As you look at Shoto, the zombie, and you ask him if there is a chance he could pinch you. The zombie looks at you a bit confused. Y yes, I could pinch you. But why do you want me to pinch you? You tell him it's for a scientific reason, and Shoto does as he's told. You tell yourself, it actually hurt. That means that you aren't dreaming and this is reality. Reality, your friends, they, they, they stayed sentient. As more zombies start to approach, um, the biggest zombie grabs you without your consent and starts carrying you to a safe space. You try to fight the zombie, but the zombie just growls at you. For you to shut up and just let him help you. Right after the zombie and you in the zombie's arms, runs Kiri. Uh, obviously worried about you and worried about Bakugo. Hey dude, you're acting really crazy. He says, taunting Bakugo. Bakugo doesn't say a word. He just keeps on carrying you to the safe space they all had and were in. When you get to the safe space, you realize there's a few more people that are still themselves. Including Uraraka. Oh, listen, oh god, oh sweet Jesus, are you alright? Oh god, did, did they hurt you? Did they bite you? Oh my god, are, are you, are you... Huh? You're fine. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh God! Thank you. 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 Thank you, Satan and sweet Jesus, or whoever you were up there. Thank you for saving my friend. Oh God! Come, 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 come! You must be hungry. You must be famished, says Uraraka, like the mother she always used and wanted to be. She gradually takes a plate and fills it with leftovers of foods that she has made in prepare for um, a raid like this happening again. Yes, we have been hiding here for quite a while, isn't it the true, Momo? Quite indeed. I really find it adorably annoying. I mean, me, such a powerful woman, being captured down here like a flicking fly in a trap. Says Momo, visually annoyed with the situation. You look at them fascinated, since none of the girls have been infected yet. 
and you wonder. Huh? What did you say, sweetheart? Oh, you you wish to know if there is a chance of us being infected. Oh no, that is exactly why the boys are infected and we aren't, honey. You see, the boys, they protected us. And, well, it's sad for me to admit, but they did all they could for us to escape. Most of us did. Uraraka looks at the floor. We had to kill Jiro. You look at Uraraka with a shocked expression. Yeah, we had to put her out of her misery. I don't know why, but she was insentient. And I just... It hurts. She was my friend and I failed her. Says Uraraka, hanging her head low, saddened by the remembrance of her past friend. As you look around, you realize there is a few more people still in the bunker, hanging around and making sure everyone is safe and not bit. Hey there, beautiful. What's up? Says Zero, looking at you with a big grin on his face. Oh, I'm happy that you're okay. Hmm. You saw the boys, didn't you? How are they? How's Barker go? Any remark with his voice? You shake your head no. And Cyril saddens. Oh man, that's sad. He deserves to be able to speak. I mean, everyone else can somewhat speak. Shoto has it the best of us all. I mean, he, of them all. They can talk. And they can just... Shota can talk with a normal voice. He doesn't have to bear the pain that the others are in. You nod your head and try to think if there's a possibility of you helping them somehow. You sit next to Saro and another classmate of yours enters the room. <laughs> well, hello, beautiful! Says Mina. Mineta. You look at him with a disgusted face, look on your face, and take a deep breath. You look at Ciro, and Ciro immediately says, Hey, Mineta, just please just get out of here, like, now. Please just get out. Like, please get the fuck out. As Mineta, of course, being the annoying little, um, bald dummy he is, he decides to come closer to you, which was then in one of the zombies, obviously, coming in between you and Mineta. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a dummy and let me see them, says Mineta, being the little idiot he is. Kiri looks at Sero and Sero says, Dude, I know you have a lot of presentation and you want to kill him, literally. You want to bite him, but if you do, he's going to become more annoying than he already is. Kirishima growls in desperation and shoves Me Mineta out of the way so that you can walk out freely. It's the evening, and you sit around a small fire, still hearing some people panic in the background because some of the zombie hordes have found a new little group of people they can murder and eat and kill. You're saddened by the fact that you, there is so many dead people around and so many people that are zombies now and can't do the same with your boys, Kiri and others do. You're saddened that somebody so smart, so talented, like 
simple child could become a zombie and murder people just because they the virus tells them to hmm the virus you think to yourself thinking and thinking again if there's a chance if there's a hope for you guys to survive and save everybody you don't know if there's a chance of that but you wish and hope that there would be and will be suddenly the door is opened and zombies not Kiri not the boys zombies get inside of the bunker you're stuck the bunker is closed up and you you don't know what to do you're stuck you're trapped you're And that is where I'll be ending the Halloween special. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's shorter than the first one, but I'm extremely tired from school and you can't blame me because I'm recording this pretty late in the night and I'm also editing it. Well, obviously I'm editing it because I don't want it to suck and look bad. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know what to say, you guys know what to do. If you want more, uh, special audios like this like as uh, for example for Christmas and uh, for some, some some sort of blah, 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 <laughs> some sort of uh, special uh, summer audios autumn audios just let me know in the comments I'll be happy to make more of those and um, there will be a period comfort audio coming up soon I hope uh, I'll see if I have enough time to record it and if I get inspired enough to record it because my inspiration has been going down pretty much pretty good just it has been going down lately and I really just want to um, enjoy life and not try to stress about stuff um, Anyways, um, that was today's video. Uh, the shoutouts should be going down right over there, so you guys can enjoy those. If you see yourself in the shoutouts, congratulations, you are a part of the shoutouts. Hooray, hallelujah. Anywho, uh, hope you guys liked the video and if you did and you want to see a part two, here's the thing, here's the thing. If you want to see a part two, you have to get me to, let's say, 555 subscribers. I know that's a lot. I know that's like 55 more people. And I am pretty sure that nobody would really want to see a part two. But if you do get me to 555 subscribers, you will see a part two of either this or the other special audio that I've made. Um, to be sent on Halloween, aka today. Anyways, you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know I've seen this for like the seventh time. Oh my god, I don't know why. My ADHD is killing me right now. Anywho, so that was today's video. Does anybody, anyone, want to say bye? Guys? Hello? Guess not. Well, um, I guess that means that I'm going to have to end it sooner. Oh, Rengoku, do you want to say bye? I'd really appreciate saying goodbye to the friends of mine. Of course you would. Well then, guys, looks like Rengoku is going to be the one saying goodbye to this video. Hello there, little flame. I am happy to say that you are very good looking today and that costume, as my creator calls it, suits you very well. You look very dashing. Very nice. Uh, anyways, I am here to say that I hope you are having a nice day, a nice night, nice anything what you want to say or call yourself, and I just want you to know you are gorgeous and you are loved. That was adorable. Thank you. Oh, you look tired. I am tired. I was trying to call Zenitsu and he was really annoying. Um, let me guess, he was annoying... Nezuko? 
obviously he was annoying Nezuko. What did you think he was doing? Very much so. Yes, good Okay, that's a... <laughs> That's a video for another day, first of all, and second of all, uh, you guys gonna have I'm gonna have to say goodbye because I need to uh, catch um, Zenitsu before he gets to Nezuko, okay? And before Tanjiro kills him. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anywho, goodbye, have a nice day, have a nice Halloween. Oh, and of course, that reminds me, happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna kill you on Kaiser's ears so much more.